Bitcoin Willy Wonka. Max Kaiser now works for El Salvador government. The president of El Salvador is appointed pro Teva Bitfinex investor, initial coin offering promoter, and self described Bitcoin maximalist Max Kaiser to a senior government position. According to an op ed from local outlet El Faro, Kaiser and his wife Stacey Herbert are displacing some responsibilities of El Salvador's official foreign ministry. Kaiser currently claims to be a Bitcoin maximalist, despite having personally promoted a variety of tiny altcoins, including Quark, Startcoin, and his own ICO, Maxcoin. He remains a staunch proponent of Teva, Teva Gold, and Bitfinex. Bitfinex, one of his portfolio companies, has issued three additional tokens, BFX, RRT, and LEO. This apparent contradiction isn't particularly unusual. Indeed, with Kaiser, things never quite add up. He purposefully cultivates an outlandish, splashy, and disordered personal brand. Late-night TV host Trevor Noah described him as Bitcoin Willy Wonka, and his media appearances often include psychedelic imagery and nonsensical rants. He and his wife now work for El Salvador's government. The duo previously espoused Russian propaganda. Researchers caught Kaiser deleting tweets, criticising Ukraine, and calling the Russian invasion a hoax. Teva, Bitfinex, and Max Kaiser in El Salvador. In November 2022, self-described dictator Nayib Bukele mandated his executive branch offices to work with Max and Stacey on Bitcoin-related matters. The executive order creating the National Bitcoin Office implied that it could dilute the power of El Salvador's foreign ministry, which usually handles diplomatic matters. Along with their new positions, Kaiser and Herbert gained the authority to open El Salvador-backed Bitcoin embassies in Europe and the United States. El Salvador already has one Bitcoin embassy in Switzerland. It also plans to open one in Texas. Kaiser and Herbert, Bitfinex cheerleaders. News of their appointment to the National Bitcoin Office didn't include information like salaries. However, Kaiser and Herbert could easily see the appointment as a way to prop up Bitfinex businesses, including its closely associated stablecoin, Teva. President Bukele listed Teva as one of only three acceptable forms of payment for the country's sovereign Bitcoin bonds, USD, Bitcoin and Teva. As part of their senior positions, they can also control who invests in El Salvador's digital asset ventures and suggest which platforms they should use to invest. Bitfinex, of course, is an investment platform. Kaiser is an investor. Further, Bitfinex has several Italian investors and executives and is active in Italian-speaking areas of Switzerland. Bitfinex helped launch a government-backed stablecoin, LVGA, and various Teva and Bitcoin projects in the Italian-speaking Swiss city of Lugano. An El Salvadoran ambassador appointed a Swiss resident, José López, as the country's Bitcoin council. El Salvador's ambassador to the United States, Melina Mayorga, referred to Texas as our new ally in a tweet. She visited Texas with an entourage that included Kaiser. Bitcoin as legal tender in El Salvador. El Salvador adopted Bitcoin as legal tender in 2021. Since then, it has spent as much as $105 million to acquire Bitcoin for its coffers. On November 17th, 2022, Bukele indicated that El Salvador would buy one Bitcoin per day. While enabling Bitcoin as legal tender, it faced challenges such as a buggy state-created Bitcoin wallet, a flawed rollout of Bitcoin ATMs, and a pushback from the International Monetary Fund. It kept delaying its release of Bitcoin bonds, meant to fund a volcano-powered Bitcoin mining venture. The country also announced volcano bonds to build a city, the renderings for which were plagiarised from a manga series. Privately funded efforts like Bitcoin Beach in El Salvador saw more success in onboarding people to Bitcoin. Previous Bitcoin embassies included privately funded educational centres meant to promote Bitcoin in New Hampshire and Atlanta. For more informed news, follow us on Twitter and Google News, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.